everyone, my name is Birdie and I am your friendly neighborhood forest witch. And in today's video, we are going to be decorating my altar room. And then when it's all decorated, I'll also be doing a final reveal. So you'll also get a tour of the altar room as well. Now, if you've been watching my videos for a little bit, you would have seen this background. And this bookshelf is actually in my altar room. And it's the only thing besides my altar that everything is in place. <laughs> so everything else, including the curtains, the wall decor, my herb cabinet, etc., still need put together and decorated. So that's what we're going to be doing in today's video. Now, I am lucky enough to have an entire room dedicated to my witchcraft practice. Now, I will say it's technically my 13 year old cat's bedroom and he just lets me occupy the room. <laughs> So all his toys are in here, his litter, his food, and this is where he hangs out. But he does allow me to keep my magical supplies in here, including my altar. So I'm really appreciative of him for that. <laughs> But anyways, yes, we are finally going to be decorating this altar room. I'm really excited about it. So let's get started. So first we're going to be working with this bookshelf. Now this bookshelf is identical to the one that I film in front of. So it's on the other side of the window. And right now I just have a hodgepodge of items on here. So what I wanna do is clean this off and really go shelf by shelf and make it its own. And I think the theme of this bookshelf is just going to be wildlife. So I will be using some of the pieces that are up here, but as far as my cookbooks, they need to be put into the kitchen. And then I have some things up here that need to go. So let's go ahead and start deconstructing this and then we'll start decorating. Mm -hmm. Oh, tiger, call me out, why don't you laugh? Lift me up higher, above the clouds, won't you laugh? When the scenery is right, go right in, I want to fall deep within. Don't leave me hanging Just cause I'm too proud Whisper away My outdated doubts Somebody do me the courtesy Dress me down I'm not that old yet I'm far too young To not stand my ground So this is everything that I picked out to go on the bookshelf. I think it is a good representation of the nature theme that I wanted to go with. Minus the kitty here. We're not going to put him on the shelf. But thankfully he is allowing me to have all this stuff on the floor without knocking it over while I figure out what I want to do with this bookshelf. But let's go ahead and start decorating. Not even for love Now take back all the hard words I'm a grown woman With confidence and sense In the middle Meet me in the middle I'm a riddle Figure me out We'll turn it Drink morning dew and we'll be lovers 
Now that the bookshelf is finished, let's go ahead and start hanging some wall decor. Now that the decorating is done, we're going to go ahead and fill this cabinet with my herbs. Now I've had this cabinet for several years now. Me and my husband refurbished it. So it used to be this wood color that you see on the inside. The entire thing was that wood color. And then we refinished the outside to do like a distressed ivory color but I think it's really beautiful and I don't have room for it in the other part of the house, but I didn't want to get rid of it. So I thought I would put it in here in the altar room and turn it into my apothecary. So the top shelf here, I went ahead and put some things up there. This is the witch's garden hat that I made in the springtime. I have this tree wooden shelf I had gotten from Target last winter and I think I'm just going to put some knickknacks on there. As you can see, 
I have one of the mother already up there, but as I accumulate more, I'll just go ahead and put them on there. Then my brand new to me gnomes book. Oh, this is such a treasure. I'm so lucky to be able to have found one. It's the 1977 edition and it is much loved. And then moving down here, I have some containers that I want to use for my apothecary. So these are little drawers that I got from Dollar Tree and it's actually three separate drawer systems and I just glued them together. So I thought these would be cute to put some little things in, maybe like matches and little things like that. Then I also picked up some jars from Dollar Tree and I like these because they have this little section here where you can put a label and then the jar actually seals. It's got that sealer on there. And then moving down here, this I got from Dollar Tree party section and I thought it would be good to hold my incense. And then these I also got from Dollar Tree and I'm gonna see if my beeswax candles will fit in here. I thought that would be really pretty to display those. Then I also picked up some of these wooden trays. Now these were from Lowe's and originally they were a, I guess a pine color. So I stained them to look a little closer to this color here. And they actually fit perfectly in the drawer here. So these are what I'm going to organize my herbs in because the majority of my herbs are in little baggies. So I figured they'd fit nicely in these little things here and I can just stack them up and easily find which herb that I want. So without further ado, let's go ahead and start filling the cabinet. Do you know how? Piles of paper, my desk is out. Who will care for the world now? Rest with me, close to curtains, brew some herbal tea. So now that the cabinet is done, let's go ahead and take a tour of my altar room. So right here is the door that actually leads into the house because my altar room is technically a 
breezeway between my house and the garage. So on here, I put my wreath that I made a couple years ago. Thought that was really pretty there. Then up above the apothecary cabinet, I have two witches hats that I had purchased through the years. And then my mushroom home sweet home artwork. And then this is how the cabinet turned out. I think it looks really good. Everything is organized. So I got my different types of herbs and stuff up there. Incense, my smudge bundles, wax candles. And then in this drawer here are all my herbs. Now, I did notice that these little uh, trays aren't really big enough, so I did have to put them diagonal to fit them in. And then for these bigger ones that couldn't really fit in there, I used these square trays from Dollar Tree. Then I have some other bottles and this here is my herb chopper so that is how the cabinet turned out i think it looks really good then coming around here is the start of my gallery wall so i have this beautiful painting that i had purchased of those women in a circle just really love that. My beetle print, my um, real life bat, this vintage painting. I just love that so much. Since I'm a forest witch and she has a bird on her shoulder, it just reminds me of me. Love that. And then I also have a real monarch butterfly that I had actually, I made this with a Dollar Tree decor wall piece. I just turned it into a shadow box. I glued this green paper in there and then attached the real monarch butterfly in there. And then up above, I have my moon phase chandelier think it's looking really good and of course I have tons of space I can add to it eventually if I wanted to then coming around here is one of the bookshelves so I'll show you shelf by shelf here the coffee grinders are antique and they used to be my pappies and then I have another vintage art print absolutely love that And then this is a cloche I got from Target Dollar Spot, I think last Halloween. So I just added two of my crystal wolves in there. And then I have my salt lamp. And then I'm displaying the bird piece that I had made during the spring. This piece here I made out of a bird carcass and I have that video posted as well I believe that might have been last year I have my plant set up there I love this thing I actually got this from Timu and I have some bottles there these are my diffuser oils so they're not safe to ingest or use topically so I keep them separate from my other ones then I have my little woodland scene and this piece here I love this now this is from Dollar Tree and comes out but this piece here is so neat I think I found that at Hobby Lobby absolutely love that and of course you can put anything in there that you'd want you could do a flameless candle. You could do a fairy scene. And then here is my wax melt. And then coming around here, the teddy bear and <laughs> the stuff in the middle is Moe's. 
That's my kitty. So I have my two antique chairs and my witchful thinking pillow that I got from Walmart. I believe that was last Halloween. And this three witch statue here, oh, prize possession right here. I actually found that at Ross. I believe it was last year. And then I have my house plants. And then up above here, I'm gonna stand on this stool so I can show you. I have this glass birdhouse. And inside I put my crystal tree, two metal snails, some moss and some pieces of wood. Just thought that turned out so pretty. And then this piece here, you might recognize from my birthday haul. I spray painted it gold and put some Himalayan salt in the bottom here. And then this thing here, I actually got at Five Below and just attached it to the candle holder. But I thought that was really pretty. So I'll back up here so you can see it, but love that. I have my fortunes told sign up above there with the gold curtains. I thought the, the gold curtains went nice in this room. Then coming around here is the bookshelf that I record in front of. So here are some of the pieces that I have. There's a, another vintage coffee grinder, some pine cones. This piece here I had made this spring. And then this is another one of those bird skull pieces that I had made. I believe it was last year. And then I have some faux ivy coming down the side of the bookshelves. That I got from Dollar Tree. Then on the second shelf, I have a ceramic cauldron, some unfilled journals. So they're just ready to be filled with all kinds of magic. And then some decor and books. These are all my witchy magazines. And then down here, I have my witchy book collection. And then some other decor and tools. And then the last shelf down here, I have some more books. I have my little beetle collection in there. And then some other books. And then coming around to this wall, is my brand new tree poster. Absolutely love this. So gorgeous. So it's a paper poster and I actually got one of those magnetic frames and it's holding the poster up pretty nicely. And then I hung my greenery up and that actually has lights on it. So that's gonna look gorgeous at nighttime. Then over here, I have my antique curio cabinet. This was my great grandmother's. As you can see, I don't really have anything in it yet other than these two pieces. This is the candle holder that I believe I made last year, I think. And then some dried flowers. So as I get more pieces, I can fill that up then. This beautiful dream catcher is from my sweet friend, Karima. Thank you so much, Karima. It is gorgeous. Love that. And then if you watched my latest altar video for Letha, you would have saw my altar here with the sunflowers and the bees. And then this is what I sit on. So it's kind of like a vanity seat and I just put one of those it's like a floor cushion and it works out pretty nice and of course I had to get green so beautiful love that and then up above my altar is where I put my moon phase chandelier thought that was really pretty I'll back up here so you can see 
And then I have all my crystals. And then as you saw, I added this shelf. And this shelf I've had for a little while. When I first purchased it, it was white and I had painted it black. However, during my house flood at the other house, it got some water damage. So just recently I sanded it down and saved it and I painted it this dark brown color. Not sure if that's coming up on camera or not, but I added some of my more unique crystals up there. So the one shaped as birds and a skull, got my selenite up there. And then for the garage door, since it's metal, this is where I put all my magnets. This one here is so special. My papa carved and painted that himself. So beautiful, love that. And I'm a huge Harry Potter fan, <laughs> as you can probably tell, so I have all those. And then here's just some funny ones down here. And then this door here goes to the outside and that's where I have my pentagram wreath. And this actually lights up too. And then up above there, that's where I decided to put my brand new hedgehog piece that I got from the bird moss box. He is so cute, absolutely love him. Then I have these two pieces, the mushroom mirror, and I had gotten this at Joanne a couple years ago. Love that. And the hoop I had made uh, from an Etsy seller, and it's from a Beatles quote, in my life, I love you more. And then we have our deep freeze in here, and it's pretty ugly. So I just put a tablecloth on there with some flowers. And then of course I hung those gold curtains. And then last but not least, I hung up this shelf as well. So I have an S up top there. And then I have some more bug artwork. Absolutely love beetles and moths and butterflies and all kinds of different critters. Then I have this miniature watering can and it's actually a candle. Thought that was really cute. And then this little tiny pot and then my mirror of Ezrad from Harry Potter. But I think that turned out really cute. And I'd say Mo is exhausted from all my hard work. <laughs> that or he is just loving his new altar room all decorated. But he is the sweetest thing. He's 13 years old and we've had him since he was six weeks old. His mother actually passed away and he was the runt of the litter. So we saved his life and... <laughs> He is just living his best life. I hope you all enjoyed decorating my altar room with me and seeing the final reveal. I think it turned out really nice and it's so beautiful in here. I cannot wait to hang out in here and do my practice. It's just such a beautiful space. But thank you all so much for watching this video. Be sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks friends, bye.